Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing an unboxing and this is a thread up denim, DIY denim rescue box unboxing. So it should be 30 pounds, paid $32 for it. And this one came from I think Washington. No, Pennsylvania, I love Pennsylvania. I have not looked inside this yet. I do want to say that I don't know every great, awesome brand that there is. Um, I mainly got this because I feel like denim sometimes is hard to find, at least in my bins. And I am trying to resell this. I'll have my Poshmark linked in the description box below. So let's just see what we have here. Okay, I've heard good things about Paige jeans. So that is what these are. Looks like they're a little worn here in the center and then they just have, um, it looks like they were manufactured to have this released hem. They are a size 30 um, and they are the Canyon boot. So I will try to sell this. I'll just probably make note um, that there's some way I might mark them uh, down just a little. Next, this is a, oh, a Hudson jean. Okay. Um, it looks like it might be a little weird here, but they're not worn. They are a skinny jean. But I've heard some good things about Hudson. Um, they are the Natalie Super Skinny Size 28. So they look a little small, but I mean, they are a mid-rise ankle. Super skinny. Style is Natalie. Okay, those are two brands that I've never um, had before because I did have a Poshmark closet and then I took it down. So I am excited about that. Next is Almost Famous. I don't know that this is a good brand. Uh, size nine, skinny jean. Uh, looks like they're distressed. They have kind of this natural type hem, but pretty distressed like I said. Um, but they seem to be in good condition, so I'll probably go ahead and list them even if they aren't worth the most, but I don't know about that brand, so. Next, um, this is a kid's jean Wonder Nation, size 10. Um, I probably will just like yard sale these or something because I don't have kids clothing. Okay, next, this is from Lee, and it's a size extra large. Um, I would assume that this is like a, kind of like a cropped vest. Okay. Because I don't think that this would be a kid's size extra large. It looks like an adult. I'll probably list that. These are denim shorts. Ava and Viv, and that's like a Target brand. Uh, the size is an 18, but they are in good condition. Um, I'll go ahead and list those. Because I already spent the money on the box. Might as well. Next is Michael Kors. Okay. This is the Selma Straight, size 12. A little wear, but nothing too bad so i will list those okay so so far my list pile is bigger than my don't list dl1961 i don't know what that brand is size 28 um they look to be in great condition um i would assume that these are a straight leg um, doesn't say on here what the style is, but I would assume that these are, oh, there is a stain on it, but I think that that can be washed out. This is either a straight leg or a boot cut. I can't really tell. Um, I will wash these to see if I can get this little mark out, but I think that's the only thing that seems to be wrong with these, so I 
and just give them a wash. So this one will be kind of a maybe if that stain comes out being gray. I do want to look up that brand because I don't know what it is. Next, H&M. These are size 34. Um, just a jean short, but they are, I believe, the men's. Um, hard to tell. that they are. Um, I probably won't sell these because I don't really have mint things in my closet. So I might just yard sale those. Uh, next is Refugee size 2. Um, I know that this isn't like the greatest brand but again if I have it I'll probably just list it. Um, I just know that I won't get that much for it because otherwise they're in good condition. Okay. This is J. Crew Indigo Denim Extra Extra Small. Again, just another jean jacket. I'll list that. Looks to be in good condition. Okay. Oh, next, I think that that says Michael Kors. Let's take a check. Yeah. Michael Kors, size 10. Doesn't tell me the style. Um, those are pretty worn, so I will probably just yard sell those, or don't get them, because they're pretty worn there in the clutch. Okay, keeping on. Okay. Next is C of H, I don't know what that is. This is the Emerson Slim Boyfriend, oh, Citizens of Humanity, okay. I've heard good things about this brand, size 27, it's a button fly. Boyfriend style. Okay. I will definitely try to sell those because I think Citizens of Humanity is pretty good. I think I've done pretty okay so far. Okay, next. These are. These are just loft. Oh, I don't know if I like that style with the button. Um, looks to be like a boot cut. Kind of retro -y pockets here. Uh, how size? Yeah. Okay. Where is the size? Oh, I don't think it has a size, and I don't know if I want to try to sell it with no size. These I probably will just um, donate yard sale because they don't have a size, and that doesn't seem like. It would be fun. Plus, I know I won't get that much for it. Okay, next are some Levi's. Oh, these don't have a size either. No. Just some Levi's shorts. Um, it looks like these might have been repaired before with a patch. Yeah, so I'll probably just donate those, even though they're kind of cute. Okay. Next is Go Go Star, Bermuda, uh, size 20. I don't know about this brand. Oh, and like damn it. I don't think so, because that doesn't sound like a men's size. Okay, so just up here Bermuda short. Um, they look to be in pretty good condition, so I'll go ahead and try to sell those since I already paid for them. Next are Lane Bryant, size 20, short boot cut, tighter tummy technology. Okay, they're in good condition. I'll try to sell them, even though they are a short. Okay. Another Lane Bryant, size 18, straight leg. pretty good condition have a little bit of wear um, I'll have to think on those so these might be another maybe okay next is Ariat real denim 25 regular uh, no oh, cleaner got cleaners tags on it okay so somebody went to some good links to keep these intact um, I'll go ahead and try this one. 
Next are blue and gray. I actually really like the brand. It's blue and gray. Uh, they are size 33. Just a little denim short. Look to be in good condition. Try to sell those. Pink denim. Wow. These are Kinsey jeans. These look super small. Size 2. Effortless ankle mid-rise. These are kind of fun. Um, and they don't have any wear. I will try to sell those. Time and True. I think that this is a Walmart brand size 8. High rise curvy. Um, doesn't tell me what kind of leg it is. Look to be a skinny. Nowhere. If I have it, I might as well try to sell it. Next is PacSun. There's a brand I haven't heard in ages. <sighs> um, size 25. 90s boyfriend. Okay, so they're really distressed. Okay. Boyfriend, jean. I'll try to sell those. Those are pretty cute. I'm pretty sure boyfriend style jeans are big right now. Uh, Cat and Jack, that's a kid's brand. I go in yard sale those. The next, Faded Glory. These are pretty worn, so I will go ahead and donate those. Oh, these are a maternity jean. I could use these right now if they're my size. Extra large, they're not. Oh Baby by Motherhood Maternity. So it's extra large. Um, they don't have any wear. I'll go ahead and try to sell them. I don't have any maternity things in there currently, so I'll try to sell them. Oh, Madewell jeans. Okay. These look really small. They are the Road Trippers. It's 26. Uh, no wear in the crotch or on the legs. Looks like they are just a skinny. Jean, I will go ahead and try to sell those. They do feel nice. American Eagle Super Stretch High Rise Shorty, size 10. Okay. Sounds good. Camo denim. Oh, these are reversible, and I have no idea anything about them. Um, so, I'll probably just donate those. They look like they might be uh, a kid's jean. These are definitely a kid's jean. Um, size 4T. If these were, I might keep these for, I don't know, but they're really, really small. Maybe I'll just donate them. Last pair, so jeans. They're kind of worn, so I'll probably just donate them. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of, donate, yard sale, 10 pairs, 19 pairs I am for sure going to try to sell. And then there are two pairs I'm kind of on the fence on, one of the Lane Bryant, and then this one just depends on if I can get that one stain out. So probably about 20 to sell um, out of 32. So I think that makes my cost of goods about like a dollar or six. Which, if I were at the bins, that's lower than bins pricing. So I'm pretty excited about that. If you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up. And be sure that you go check out my Poshmark closet. I have this and many other things going on or going up. I try to post about five items a day. Um, give or take, that number might adjust as time goes on. But yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.